Yeah, that's fine. By the way, the fans can hear you. We're like, we're like live, live, but we're not like live, live. We're live, like audio, live, live. Spoopy town. <laughs> we're halfway to Spoopy town. This is yeah, it's a little it's a little podcasty. Are we gonna do tra are we gonna do traffic in a minute? <laughs> Somebody else gonna come in and be like <laughs> there's an accident on the the 15. Avoid avoid anything near Crenshaw. Wait, the 15 is not near Crenshaw. What am I doing? Yeah, definitely don't hire me for traffic. Especially That's a great, that is a great question. I, I think people that listen to the radio, um, people that listen to the radio also need traffic. <laughs> Cause if you're not listening to spot, if you're listening to Spotify, you're like, you've got a Spotify ways combo and you're good. <laughs> okay. Should we go, should we go like live, live now? Should we like turn on the thing? I'm going to do it. Are you ready? Okay, it's ready. Hold on. We always, I always do, I always start with this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest right off the bat. What is that? We've got K Flay in the house who's bouncing. That is a very, that's like, looks like a, a like a, is that an exercise move? <laughs> yeah, it's perfect for my, it's, It's perfect for my, you should be doing that, but in this, like this background, it's very, very spooky. Do you have, wait, yes, show it. Who did, who did the, who did the great pumpkin there? This is Emily Hicks. With the pumpkin. And Emily doesn't, doesn't, um, Emily doesn't consider herself like an artist. So she, yeah, she's not like, so, go ahead. I don't think Emily considers herself a visual artist, right? Not even a little bit. But look what she did. This just goes to show you. You can do it. Okay, okay, nice. Oh, no. They're saying they can't hear... They're saying they can't hear you very well. That's weird. Um, huh. Maybe I should be quieter and like that. Oh, maybe our balance. We've got a bad balance. Um, I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. Well, regard regardless, um, I'm going to let you explain. I reached out to you this morning asking about the, um, the comic. Wait, hold on. I just realized they're saying that I, they think they can only hear you through the leak in my headphones. Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. I got this. I, I got this. I got this. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Wait, say something. Okay, I know how to fix this, I think. Let's hope. Okay, so now say something. Okay, hello everybody. Hello, Mike. Okay, let's see if they can hear you now. Okay, this is a sound check. Testing one, two, it's 10.03 a.m. There is a southbound lot of traffic on the I-5. I'm so sorry, no one can hear me before. Okay, um, what okay. I was saying is that this pumpkin was carved by Emily Hicks. <laughs> I just gave her okay, um, so basically here's the deal, guys. I'm putting together this comic that features these two characters that are connected to my album. And 
I have, we're doing, we're kind of making this whole physical zine. All the proceeds go to an amazing organization, charity organization here in Los Angeles that's doing LGBTQ homeless outreach. Actually, a, a close friend of mine runs this and is like literally doing amazing work in the community. It's awesome. So we're sourcing this from fans who are just like pouring in with this amazing art. And I was like, but you know what? I have a friend who's an amazing artist. I actually just hung, Mike, I'm gonna shout you out a little bit. I was over at Mike's, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago and Mike gave me three, like a triptych of panels from the post-traumatic era and they're hanging in my studio, they look so good. Anyways, so I reached out to Mike saying, hey, would you be down to do a panel as part of this amazing collaborative zine? And Mike, the legend was like, yes. So I believe Mike's gonna draw this panel Live on Twitch? Is this what's happening? That's what's happening. Yeah, it's it's um, the character. You have put the posted the character on your socials before. The the uh, uh, Ovi yes. or so Ivy? There's there's two characters. One is called Ivy. One's called Ovi. And these are like non-binary representations of the id and the super ego. Basically. Nice. And I so knew that like, that, yeah, I kind of got that feeling. Is there, t can you describe like, where did these characters come from and what, why are they part of this, this, the lore of this album? That's a great question. Okay. So the characters came from this, this project is like a, it's two EPs basically that constitute a record. So side A is called inside voices. Side B is called outside voices. And actually we just put out today the like lead single from this second half of things. And like, so basically I wanted to represent in a, a kind of a playful way, these parts of the psyche. So it wasn't like so serious and heavy, but really like all the songs are just kind of, I think centering on the conflict between this like primal impulsive part of the brain and yourself and the very introspective, anxious, um, like the consciousness or conscientiousness mm. of, of a person and how you kind of manage that to, to be like the evolved, stable, hopefully person that you want to become. And that's like been my life struggle, I guess. The outside voice is like the, the outside voice is the, is the uh, filtered voice. Yes. Yeah. The voice of like society, like you should do this. Yeah. Sick. So like the inside voice is like, I want to do this. And the outside voice is like, but you should do this. So you did. So you already put out the, which one was it? Inside Voices. Inside Voices. Album. And the new single from Outside Voices is out today. Correct. Which, which sounds awesome. So what say the name of it? What is the name of it again? It's called Nothing Can Kill Us. Great. And okay, so you guys, everybody in the chat, go listen to that right now. Go put that on in the background on loop all day. Yes. Run up Christine's numbers. <laughs> um, we are going to do, yeah, I'm going to draw. Wait, which character is the character in my scene? Today? So you have, yeah, let me, because I might need to talk you through a few can contextual things yeah i've got i've got an panel. ov i've got an ov panel but i've also the most terrifying part about today is not that i have to draw ov it's that i have to draw you oh what i do i mean yeah, it I says that you're in the you. you're it says that i have to draw ov finding you in the trunk so i could i guess i could do that scene without you she could just no no, no you, in the trunk. yeah well them, right them. you could it's do it them with me. Wait, they're non-binary. Okay, so I've OV yes. finding you in the trunk. Yes. Um, hold on. I am did I text you this or email you this? Christina got it. Oh, e I emailed you. Okay. Email. I found my email. Yeah. Yeah. Um right. So basically what's happening at this point in the storyline, and just so everyone knows too, the way that we're doing this is we're giving every artist one panel so nobody really knows the full story till we put it together and everyone can like enjoy this full narrative because it's like a whole whole thing. Um, so basically OV finds me, K Flay, tied up, gagged in the trunk of the car. And OV basically, so Ivy gets back to the car. You're gonna draw both Ivy and OV. Oh. 
So basically, Ivy's going to be coming back into like towards the car, uh-huh. and Ovi's going to be staring inside the popped trunk, like, oh my god, there's a bunch of guitars in there and K Flay. Okay, so I don't need to draw you. I just need to draw the other two characters. Yeah, you might want to draw me sitting next to all those guitars. You could draw me with a bunch of guitars on top of me. Okay. With two eyes, maybe, peeking out from the guitars. Okay, you in the trunk with the guitars. I'm thinking about, like, where, if this is a scene, like, where is the camera? You know what I'm saying? So how do I get you and the, I guess I, if I'm kind of from above, I can see you in the in the trunk and then them, like, looking down. Do you want me? You know who just sent me a panel that we could show for inspo too is do you, you know lights right yes okay lights just did one amazing just sent, just sent it to me last night shout it's amazing. out to lights i did this song with lights with uh oh my a- God. A- a- okay should i send it to you should i text it to you yeah sure for inspo sure sure okay that's so fun that's awesome i didn't know she was like no. she drew it huh she drew what it Yes, yeah, she drew it. Here, I'll show it to you. Okay, sick. All right, great. I'll text you. Is your so whole- So you can split it up into like multiple scenes in the rectangle, you know? Okay. Oh, you. it's okay if I do multiple squares. Yes, that's what I, well, multiple, like here, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna understand this, one sec. Okay. You're going to get this. The chat is catching up. They're like, they're like, so it's like a graphic novel, like a comic. I think we covered that already. Yeah. So it's, yeah, Mike, you see what I just texted you. Yes. Wait, lights did this whole thing. Isn't that amazing? Is lights doing the whole comic? No, just one pan, that just one scene like okay. that. Okay. That's how people have been sending them in pretty much is like, People are doing dividing the rectangle into like little scenes. And okay, kind of okay. So there. you, when I heard panel, I thought square. <gasps> you mean pay like a whole page? Whatever. <laughs> Literally, do whatever feels right to you. Okay, 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 okay. I like it can be a panel that's this big, a panel that's this big. This is a very free form project it's like let your creativity flow okay 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 um got it okay yeah total artist choice and you are the artist okay i will um i'm gonna have to read i should be on the chat i'm not even on twitch right now okay here's what we'll do i'm gonna jump i'm gonna jump off the zoom because i'm like nervous that i'm gonna like put your like email address on the screen or something. I hate, I hate like doing zoom on Twitch. I always feel like I'm going to fuck that up. Um, so I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to get to drawing. You can jump in the chat whenever you want. Just pop in, say hi, just be aware that if you really want to get my attention, like call or text me because I will be okay. looking at my iPad like the, the whole time. And so they know that I get like absorbed in that and I stop looking at the chat and that's, it is what it is. Um, so yeah. So if I'm doing something that needs like context or correction or whatever, feel free to make sure. Cause you know, I, you know, the big picture of where it fits in the story. You also don't want to give away the whole thing so like just text me info as we go i'll be on until about noon i do have to wrap at noon sharp today so i'll be done by then and if i don't get to like if i don't get to like the point where it's like colored um then i will eat well i'm like i've been doing a lot of black and white lately and really enjoying that so we'll see what happens We'll see what happens. Yeah, see how it feels. Black and white is totally fine. Um, okay, cool. We've had people so, doing everything, truly. Okay, so uh, great. I'm going to jump to it, and I'm going to shut okay. the Zoom down. I'll talk to you uh, soon. Okay, you're the best. I'll be in the chat. Okay, thanks. Bye, Mike. Bye.
Hello. There we go. All right. So. <laughs> can never get it right, guys. Just can never get it right. You know what I'm saying? So I started this like page, but now that she said I want to do like a whole, she wants me to do like a whole page. Um, that is going to be, let's see. I think the move is to, first of all, I think I'm going to turn on this music again. Let's do that. All right, get our little groove on. I've only heard snippets of the new k Flay track, by the way, so this is fun. I'm going to check that out after the stream. I don't want to play it on the stream because I don't want it to get muted. Um, the, oh, I have to check something real quick. So, one of the um, things she sent me was like this, like these panels, um, which is cool to see. Like, this is some of the other stuff that she um, has got. So, That's kind of the vibe of what, like at least that's like the context of like what is going on. Um, I'm just gonna look at the dimensions here. Oh, these are all different dimensions. Oi, okay. What is this one? One's 12, 40 by 1754. One's 2400 by 38. One's 32 by they're all different sizes. Let's do 30, 3266 by 4876, because that's the biggest one. So I'm gonna resize this guy. Uh, 4876. 3266. All right, so this is like the size of the biggest one. So at least mine isn't any smaller. I don't want, as a, when you submit like, you know, drawings for somebody, you don't want it to be like, everybody else is doing it at essentially a high resolution than yours a low resolution, because then it'll just look like shit. Um, okay, clear that. Let's get a little vibe here. So the vibe was, I'm not gonna do my, um, you remember the other day I was trying to get like a, like a, um, a smoother ink stroke. Like this has been the, the 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 pen that I've been using. This very gritty one that has like, if you look at it, it's got like almost like dust in it. I made a new marker so that it's a lot smoother, but it does have a little bit of texture. Like you can see on the edge right there, there's like a little bit of texture. So I made that um, the other day. And I'm gonna use that, I think. Um, let's just do a little sketching. I was imagining, like, so the idea for her thing today is that she's been captured and she's in the trunk with, um, let's see, she's in the trunk, like, tied up with the guitars and the stuff for the concert. Um, okay. Let me just think about this. So, I think that if I have them, I think it's only two things that I need to, to draw, which is the, on one side, like the, her in the trunk, right? Do we have a sense of what kind of car it is? Oh, that's an important detail. Christine, if you're in the chat, text me what kind of car this is. It looks like a hatchback or something. But it's not. It can't be a hatchback because she's in the trunk of it. Um, sorry, guys. Just want to get this part right here. Old hatchback. So they. Okay. So. I gotta get a reference.
So you know what we're gonna do? We're going, we're going here with it. Like, look at this bad boy. Look at that thing. Um, I think that's where we gotta go. Okay, so if that's the vibes, then like this is kind of the back of the car here. And it's kind of like this, and kind of like this. And I want it to kind of bend a little bit. Little wheels. Here. A little bit of that. And then. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this in, um, in, um, uh, like, like symmetry mode when I do this. Um, oh, you know what? We gotta be looking from overhead a little bit as well. So, this, we can't see the wheels, really. Because if we're looking from overhead, then it's almost like you can see the roof of the car a little bit here through this window. And then there's like these little bars that go like this. And then Christine is in the back. Like, she's all like, oh no! And she's got like the thing over her, her mouth. And she's like tied up. And there's like, should the guitars just be thrown in there on top of her? I feel like they should. I feel like the guitars are just like, laying on her like this. Like that's a guitar. Dude, that's a very thick neck guitar. Can Christine, can there be drums in the back too? I feel like a drum. I feel like a, a drum would be good to have like like a snare drum like here and like drumsticks sitting sticking out. Uh, and then Okay, so she's like here. And then like the wheels, like since we're overhead a little bit, I don't think you actually see the wheels of the car. Um, okay, so maybe we push this down to the bottom of this, the page and in the front, on the top, we've got to have the reaction shot. So, and I feel like the like page cuts like this. Maybe that's too low. I want to kind of want to see the top of the car. other characters like one's in front and then one's kind of behind and they're like no way like that like oh no okay um let me do a that's my little sketch layer i wonder if i can make this a little more dynamic like the buildings are like it's like a little ant's eye view. The buildings are kind of like this behind them. Those are hands, by the way. <laughs> like, oh no! 
almost like something jumped out at you. I'm gonna look at these characters real quick. So, Christine, do we want to put OV in the front and IV in the back? Or doesn't matter? It says that o in the thing it says OV finds k -flay. So, probably OV is in the front. This almost looks like uh, Rick and Morty. <laughs> I want to fix it though. Bikes are interesting here. Okay. Um, nice to have like a shadow that's going like one way. Like the light's coming from over here. And this is kind of like the shadow here. this back here oh wait I keep wanting to like fix this little um, composition up here my little symmetry thing. So the symmetry thing is this. Um, drawing guide, you can go symmetry. And then let's double check that it works. Okay, oops. I don't want it to be on that layer. I want it to be on this layer. Drawing assist on. See that? So now every line I make on the right, it'll do on the left. So that way I can make sure that my car is like symmetrical. So even if I don't end up doing the car like completely symmetrical, at least now, at least we're starting from a place where it is. I don't want to I don't want a lopsided car. So that What I'll do is I'll take this guy and duplicate it. So one of those. And then fuck. Copy pasted the whole thing. That's not what I want. I could do this. Let me think.
So one of these is here, one of these is here, one of these is here. Now they're on both sides. Great. So you notice how off my my um, driver's my license plate was? Very off. Oh, Christine, if you're still there, is there something written on the um, on the license plate? It's a personalized license plate. If so, now is the moment. I think that's enough of that. Now I can get into non-symmetrical stuff. So the non-symmetrical stuff, take the drawing assist off and you're good to go. Actually, why don't I do this? Why don't I put a layer, a new layer so that everything on that layer is symmetrical. And then from here, let's see what K-Filet looks like in some of her other. Do that. I love that you guys always get mad at me for putting my pencil in my mouth. What you can do. Okay, so. And give her wavy hair.
Okay. Let's see here. It's a little flat. Let's move these eyes. Let's move this eye over a little bit. That's a shoulder. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm going to do this. All right. The shape of her head is not quite right yet. Like, too much hair up here, probably. Probably 
probably more like this. Christine does not have easy hair to draw. That's not easy. Because if you glam it up too much, <clears throat> if you glam it up too much, it doesn't look right. Don't glam it up enough, it doesn't look right either. <clears throat> okay, so that's like the edge of the car right there. Should we do feet? Her boots have to be sticking out here. <clears throat> Eyes don't look like they have quite enough, like, fear. Maybe that's more the vibe. <clears throat> okay. I think that's kind of the, the essence of what I'm going for. She's very cartoony. Maybe if I make her head a little smaller, it'll be less cartoony. A little less. She it makes her taller. Let's make her head a little smaller here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want her to look like a Charlie Brown character. That's probably better. <clears throat> Mike, go get some water. I was gonna put her in a striped shirt, but I just realized if I do that, it's gonna take away from the actual, like, the, the tie, this shape that's tying, like, around her. It'll distract, like, you'll, you'll lose the sense of, like, the, um, the things that's tying her up. So, I'm not gonna do that. All right, I think I'm gonna just kind of start to complete that. Oh, I should get these two characters going. Um, okay, so these two characters, let me see, to give you guys, to so show you guys what they're all about, this, oops, this is OV, and this is IV. Um, so we're going to start with OV. Here. 
Ovi has like a bit of a, a square-ish kind of jaw. And also, kind of like a, they have like fangs. tell if Ovi has like a unibrow but I'm looking at this hold on a second kind of like a it's kind of a unibrow or like a hair over the eyebrows situation I'm gonna go kind of unibrow The character is looking down, then the ears like go down, go lower to the like closer to the jaw. Right? Isn't that right? You know how that works? I'm gonna take a water break. I'll be right back.
so I I be Why don't I do this? Why don't I put IV's face on another layer just in case? Because I feel like I'm gonna need to move this face. I think that's the vibe.
Okay. There's the rest of my sketch. Cool, I think that's everything. Should I do it? I feel like maybe I don't want to do it in this smooth, um, this smooth pen. Hold on, let me just get everything on one layer here. I'm gonna put these all, oop, I don't want that original sketch to be on the same layer. Uh, merging all three of these. And I'll make them really, really light. So light that you guys kind of can't see them in fact, I guess. Um, yeah, I was thinking like, this pen is really nice, but it's like almost too, it's too smooth. I think I'm gonna go back to my normal pen. Gotta make it a lot bigger for this drawing though. Not that big. Gonna be about the right width. Tiny bit wider. Oh, but I have to get, I have to be able to get to her face. Just kind of small here. Yeah, that's too thick. You know what might be nice, actually, now that I'm looking at this? Why don't I take this part of the drawing for dynamics? Why don't I take this part of the drawing and like tilt it or something? Like make it should go the other way? Is she bigger? Too tilt, too tilted. All right, hold on. I just want to make it bigger. I don't want to make it tilted. She should just, we just really have to see her. Okay, I think that's better. Lighter. And here. All right, we'll start down here. Dukey03 is raiding. What's up, Dukey03? shape of the face here. I feel like that face is like, that's ah, okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
here's got to be further back now. <clears throat> All right, so shoulder here, shirt there. Um, let's do this edge of this car. That way we can fill in. If I do that, then I can fill in. Come on. I should do this guitar as well. I'm gonna get that right. Sorry, I'm pulling up like pictures of like guitar parts. <laughs> oh, these are the boots.
All right, so we kind of got the shape of the hatchback now. And Christine in the back. I don't want to screw up this guitar. Cars are hard to draw. And I like, don't want to do like all the strings. It's like should just kind of be a scribble. Very flat guitar, but okay. Maybe I'll make it thicker here. my best guitar but it's gonna have to do for now This. I'm gonna flip this this way so I can try do my best to try and get like somewhat straight lines on this part.
I think we kind of got it here. This part should be black back here. Let me give it more space. Oh shit. That should be black. Need some more dark stuff down here. This is all black. I think it's all dark in there. Okay. Boots are probably black as well. Boots are probably black. Probably do. I think that's probably good. Good to move on? Let's do the trash cans and the background stuff real quick.
going to do this whole area block here. Probably these guys too. Scribble all that in. And shadow there. Okay. So there she is in the trunk. And we got to get these two monsters. I think the mouth, maybe the mouth should be all black. Exaggerates the shock. Okay, this character has black hair down to here about there so we'll do that and we're gonna do that there it's a nice look of surprise
All right. This is going on on the here. Some patches right here. the vibe there. Oh, actually, I've done the shading on the wrong side, technically. Technically, if they're looking down at the at the trunk, technically the sh the light is on their their left. Might as well get it right now. Do you know that instinctive reactions which enable babies to do things without having been taught happens because of some special need? Yes, like Roger ducking his speed ball during our baseball games. He certainly has the instinctive reaction going. That, that's not instinctive. I learned to duck. Ro 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 Roger? You said that babies do things because of instinctive reactions. It enables them to survive. True, but mothers and fathers have babies mostly because of their need to love. They need to love? Yes, 
Mothers and fathers get married because their need to love results in their loving each other in a special, beautiful way. That's happiness. And a special love by a special person. Gosh, what's love got to do with having a baby? Right. That's without the uh, sketch in behind it. Um, feel like probably put some dark stuff here, here, maybe I here. Am Sam. Sam, I am. I am Sam. I am. I am. There. Sam, I am. There. That's Sam, I am. That's Sam, I am. I do not like that Sam, I am. So there's our, there's our panel. There's our. I do not like that Sam, I am. All right. Whatever this is. Sam, I am. I would not like them here or page. The 
stupid. This garden universe mm. vibrates complete. Some we get a sound so sweet. Vibrations reach on up to become light, and then through gamma out of sight. Between the eyes and ears there lie the sounds of color and the light of a sigh. And to hear the sun, what a thing to believe, but it's all around if we could but perceive. To know ultraviolet, infrared and x-rays, beauty to find in so many ways. Two notes of the chord, that's our full scope. But to reach the chord is our life's hope. And to name the chord is important to some. So they give it a word, and the word is... Vagina! I think that part of the song will never not be funny. You don't know how hard it will always be funny. The order to terminate your life. I'm surprised you had the courage to take the responsibility yourself. Princess Leah, before your execution, I would it like you to be, be my funny. guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. I grow tired of asking this, so it'll be the last time. Where is the rebel base? Where, where, where is the rebel base? Where is the rebel base? Where, where, where is the rebel base? All right, do we think I probably have to um like I have to decide whether or not I'm going to color this thing. Um If I do that, I'm going to do it offline because we're out of time. Um but What do we think? Where is the rebel base? It's not noon yet. Yeah, I can't color it in in where ten to base? twenty minutes, so it's not gonna where happen. I guess I could come back to it next week. Come back to it next week and finish it up. That would be fine. I think um, Ivy's face came out the best. This face I like a lot. Ivy is supposed to have like black eyebrows though. about this. I wonder if the pupils oops, need to just be smaller. like a little like
Oh, then maybe these lines are unnecessary. Right there. Does that help? That helps. Yeah, that helps. Oh, that's part of it. It's this line here is weird. Okay. Around these things out of that. This character wears like a bit of a turtleneck kind of situation. <clears throat> okay, um, I think we're gonna stop there and I made a weird line when I was zooming in or out, apparently. We'll stop there and maybe I'll come back and color it next week. Good idea. Cool. All right, cool. I can't stop drawing it. I gotta stop. Um, we'll pick this up next week. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you check out Christine's new song. Um, and 
what is it called? It's called... Nothing Can Kill Us. Check that out. Um, and I'll come back and do some of the... Um, I'll come back and do some color, I think, on this thing um, next week. The... Um, Yeah. I do want to give some shouts before we go. Hope you guys had fun. We've got They've like revamped the um Oh god, no, it changed my um uh, it, it re like reset my um, my shout outs page now there's all this stuff in it that I don't want to shout out i.e every every single follow every single cheer oh boy let's remove those real quick One second. Okay, let's see if this works. We're gonna do, we're gonna say hi to the following people. Oh God, here we go. Yasmin of 93, get to five subs. Ariana BR, resubbed. LP Buckeye, gifted five. Sani LP6, resubbed. Yasmin of 93, gifted. Kbrin. Sub with Prime. I love it. Smart. Lucky Strike J Alex resub with Prime. Smart. It's mother of Katz SC resub for one month. Yasmin FK 93 gifted. Butterfly Wings gifted. Nice. Fran Kids resub. LP Buckeye gifted. Kavita gifted. Nice. Hybrid Shinoda gifted. Nice. Phantom Archangel resubbed. Tiger Lily 1551 sub. Trisha 317 gifted. Nice. Gel Michel Shinoda. Gay? Gel. Gifted two subs. Nice. Coca Blue Games resub. Ranting and rolling. Subprime. Smart. Thank you guys very much. And uh, I'm going to check for these raids real quick. Like, one moment. Hope you guys have fun this weekend. I um, don't have any big plans this weekend, just family time. Alrighty, you guys are gonna raid Sabi Spark, courtesy of Complicated Human, who redeemed this raid. Um, I do want to shout out our top gifters: Kel Michelle Shinoda with two Hyper Shinoda. Kavitag, Moon, HMZ, Ruby, LK, Ali, H, Seashells, LPU, at number three, Yasmin of 93, at number two, LP, Buckeye, at number one, Harleen Quinn, 82. Our top cheers are St. Clark, Aira O, oh, Samina Dominic, Lincoln Park fan, Elrika, uh, Dimitri Photo, LP, Kazaku, Dusty, 2013, D Stank, Ali, H, and Karma Doll. Thank you guys very much. And once again, I'll restart this raid for Sabi Spark. Um, go ahead and opt in. Thank you, guys. Bye.